Yeah, you the see it. It's being here on UTAP 10 with the Only Touch Greatness podcast. What's up? I'm right here. Yep. Ah, see, right. we get an exclusive. We get a <laughs> What's up with it, man? So basically, I'm Ryan up here in Vancouver, Canada. Okay. And this is Prince Al and my co host. Right, royalty, royalty rules eight one six, bro. The one that you know got you here, bro. Like, yeah. yo, I've been, I've been trying to say this, man, so long, man, because I've been heard, I already heard about you because of you know the world star shit, and right, I was just right. like, yo, I was like, Nate Dog, son, fucking raps. I was like, yo, it's crazy because, I mean, I can tell you, that's why one of the reasons why I got this here, right, because. Right. Because this motherfucking CD right here took me through a lot of pain, a lot of happiness, a lot of fuck you moments. You know what I'm saying? Like it had me, it got me through some days, man. So, and just to hear this, man, this is my, you know what I'm saying? This, this is for the culture, the G4 culture, bro. So, blessings to you. Yeah, I I think, I think I seen y'all do some shit with like a lazy or something. I just was real tapped in on, um, the questions and just the type of shit that you know y'all y'all was doing so i could fuck with it you feel me it, it ain't that click, it ain't no clickbait or no new you know none of that new shit it's more right. like you know for the, for the real ones and i got a lot of real ones that are tap in and, and appreciate that boom sure. and that's what we about bro right, <laughs> for right. real perfect uh, yeah. so so what was childhood like growing up as the underneath like your dad being a legend and stuff and when did you first get into playing sports because i know you're a sports guy too yeah. I mean, it was it was like a normal normal uh normal kid for real. Like shit, I'm I'm in a neighborhood I grew up in right now uh, with with the homies and shit, you know. So it's really just we got a little bit of paper now, but you know if 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 you if your niggas ain't with you, then it ain't you know it ain't you ain't too far. So I still come over here and just tap in with you know the niggas I started with and shit, and um you know shit, it, it was just like being a regular kid growing up for me for real. When did you start playing football? Shit, like um, I say like second grade type shit. So how old, how old you is in like the second grade? Okay, because yeah, this is also a sports podcast as well. So I also yeah yeah, yeah. I seen I, I seen y'all have some shit on about about Washington up there, but you know yeah, it's big. it's a lot of shit that uh, about me in the, fo- in the football world that people don't yeah. even know or you know. So I leave it up to you know whatever. And, and nigga oh, perfect! Ask I got I got some stuff. So basically, being in Vancouver, I'm a two hour drive from Seattle, and then I'm a Seahawks season ticket holder. So I'm down there in Seattle a hell of a lot to watch football. So I go to a lot of Husky games. So you a Husky fan? Yeah, big time. And I uh, go to a lot of Husky games, too. Yeah, I fuck with them. I fuck yeah. with them. Yeah, so, I still do. Go ahead, sorry. No, I was saying I still fuck with the Huskies. Perfect. That's good. Uh, so one question about the Huskies while we're on there before we get to the hip-hop portion of this. the uh, We always ask the people, like, to choose their college – this is the one time that you get to choose where you're going as opposed to being drafted kind of thing and going to a team. What made you choose to go to the Huskies when you had other offers from Boise and Oregon? Um, well, to be real, Boise was my first offer, but that's when um, Coach P was at uh, Boise. Yeah. So he ended up he ended up going to Washington, and as soon as they got to you, they offered me. So I was more so like, you know, y'all was my first offer at Boise, but the only reason I, I wouldn't go there was because I was looking for a, a, a bigger school. So um, when they offered me at Boise, I was like, you know, you know, thank, thank y'all for the offer because it was my first one and it opened up the gate for everybody. But um, it just wasn't a big enough school. So as soon as they got to Pac-12 and UW offered me, I was, you know, immediately interested because that was my first offer too um, from the get-go out the gate, you know. Still had the blue field then in Boise. Oh yeah, and I was I was real big on that. But after yeah. like you know learning just different league now you know and just you know waiting waiting on the eyes. If you're looking at the league, it's like I wanted to give myself the best shot at that. You know, but you know being in high school, seeing that blue field, that shit was. I, I was like, I go there or at least take a, a visit to that. You know. Yeah, definitely, and I mean Oregon is nice as well. But what made you uh, just go ahead and want to be to Washington? Um, uh, shit. Well, like, like I said, it was more so like a, uh, I was looking for uh, a loyalty factor in it, like you know who, who, and I, I don't know. Like I said, it was my first offer, so I felt like 
they were like the most interested for real, you know, because any school could offer me. Um, but they came in offered me at Boise, and then as soon as they, like the first second day they got the job at Washington, they uh, they offered me. So I just felt like you know this was a place, even though I was committed to Zona for like almost two years. Okay, last one about the Huskies. The uh, what led to you transferring out of there after you were starting after fourteen games? Um, to be honest with you, dog, I got into some shit where I, I just failed some drug tests. Okay. No. I figured it would have been so long that maybe you would say I never really heard uh, You know, I, I stand on that because um, I learned from that. And, and shit, I got my own, like, it, it's, I, I would say it's just, you know, uh, I, what, what can I say? It, it was a learning experience for me. Okay. You know? And, and I, just, I stand on that because I don't ever want someone to think that that's okay, you know. Right. So, so uh, do you ever think of coming to the CFL? Nah, that wasn't really my thing. I was more so like, um, I, I can't write to music. It was the NFL. Like, I'm, I, I need something I can maximize, you know, my potential in. You know, like, if it's not super, you know, the top of the chain or something, I really don't even want to fuck with it. Okay, Prince, you're up, buddy. Shoot one. <laughs> yeah, so coming from LVC, bro, like, which is a, you know, beautiful place, man. You know, it's still grimy, but it's still – a lovely place got in there before. Like, what was one of your favorite spots as a kid? You know what I'm saying? To be a part of, you know what I mean? And you always wanted to, you know, it always take back to memories, you know what I'm saying? Like that. Nostalgic one. Uh, shit. It's a, it's a park called Mayfair Park. <laughs> shit. It's a few parks, but I want to talk about the Mayfair Park because that's mainly where my pops took us and he, uh, like, shit, we, we went there, like, I said, like, two days a week and, and played basketball and shit. And if you was just, like, a, a West Coast fan or just, just you know, a, a person who knew who my pops was, you would have thought it was crazy that you playing, you know, basketball with, uh, with you know, Nate Dogg in, in the middle of, uh, you feel me, a park and uh, Lakewood slash Lone Beach and shit. So that was, like, something that, um, you know, I, I still remember till this day. He was big on hooping, and that's something that we probably, we probably hoop like three days a week. But I was a, a kid, but I just remember going to different parks in the neighborhood and, and cities and shit. And it was like, you know, it's like the shit you see on YouTube now where niggas go and they play basketball and got the cameras and do all shit like that. Yeah. Like, my, we was doing that with Pops, but we didn't have no cameras and nothing like that. It was just like, oh, shit, they dog up here hooping, whatever, whatever. And I'm just a little nigga in the back air right. and shit. Right, right. And, and you know, especially. You know, I'm in out there and then had that feeling like with um with music, right? Like, what was your favorite song as a kid? Make you like, you know, it could be your dad's or whatever, you know, and like one of the songs that make you be like, you know, like hip hop. Uh, I don't really got no one song. But some crazy shit I tell you is like it, like like my yeah. pops was you know of course of course um you know I'm heavily influenced by him but weirdly nigga I'm like I, I was thinking the other day like this nigga T Pain like really killed the game for me like I was saying right. that shit to my to my loves you know and that's something that I like right. grew to think about like T Pain was really high and I don't think that's somebody my pops like saluted because anybody that came with his type of sound or tweaked it or whatever the case he wasn't super big on but me being a young boy I, i'm seeing like what's unique about it so now that i'm right. like a little older and just thinking about it i'm like t-pain was like something dope for me like you know that was something right. that really made me interested in the music and just had the, the sounds that he came out with you know what are your thoughts on all right. that shit? yeah i mean i don't fuck with it personally but um it's guys that can make like that like, really can tweak that shit. Like you, you would hear Young Thug and be like, he sound a little Lil Wayne or this ain't music, whatever, whatever. But the way he using his voice is real unique, like in a way. And if somebody can grab that and not, you know, and step kind of outside the box, they will see what's unique about auto tune and how you know my generation is able to use it in different ways because it's always been around. But we got dudes doing like the high pitch shit with it, you know, they just twisting it up in many different ways. You're tuning into. I only search greatness podcast. 
Vancouver's best show with Ryan Hayes. Often imitated but never duplicated, I Only Touch Greatness podcast with Ryan Hayes. Looking for the most beers on tap, great steaks, great staff, head over to the John B. The John B. Pub, the best bar in town. Say hey, St. you. BC is a part of me. I'm from Van City, grew up in Vancouver. Yeah. Way back when we was taking taxis, not Ubers. Yeah. We was being young, living life to the fullest. Doing dumb things. 